Hi, it's Harry Redknapp here. You're listening to a proper podcast. It's the Alan Hudson podcast. It's proper football, proper talk. You would have been all right. Yeah. Well, I always talk about Ozzy and Glenn, and I talk about Glenn, the vision to see the pass. And I'm going to blow my own trumpet here. Um, Don Al said to him one day, Glenn, why are you such a good passer? And this is Glenn telling me. He said, Steve Perriman. What? Well, how comes? He said, well, when he gives me the ball, he tells me where to put it. He said, I ain't got to put it there, but he just gives me an option. Left back, <laughs> left wing, whatever. And therefore, he... anyway, so... Um... Sounds, sounds, sorry, Steve, it sounds like an, uh, an addition of the golden shot. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ozzy... Ozzy never, people say about Ozzy was all short passing. I said Ozzy never was able to and had the vision to, but never actually wanted to kick it far away from himself because he knew he weren't getting it back. Yes, yes, yes. So, so there's no way that he was going to become a long passer. Great player that he was. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so you know, that's the great thing about our our careers and it to meet but these you, uh, you, different but you, talents. Stevie, I've got to say that a lot of people to talk about that. Really, you had that was a really terrific team, but um, Hazard doesn't get mentioned enough. Mickey Hazard was a Mickey oh. Hazard was a top top talent. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, I think uh, Ozzy said one day, uh, 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 and Ozzy ain't gonna blow smoke up your ass by any means. He don't have to, but. Mickey Hazard, uh, he said that Mickey Hazard was as good as Glenn. Yeah, yeah. And, and maybe Spurs supporters wouldn't put him in the same, same bracket quite. They, they knew his worth. Mickey Hazard always come to the front when Glenn was injured, which happened a bit too often. And now and again, Ozzy was injured. Mickey Hazard, like, grew with a, with a role. And, um, you know... I have to say that when we won the UEFA Cup in 1984 against Anderlecht, Mickey, because of injuries to others, Mickey Hazard took up the role of being, which is how I look at you. When you talk about leaders, you've got leaders in terms of me that can give information out and John Terry and, and uh, Tony Adams, for instance, they sort of stand up and they say, any fucking chance? <laughs> are we are we going to get at it yet or you know how long is it going to take us to get going but then there's the leaders in play which was glenn which was ozzy which was you mickey Azar was capable of it but he actually didn't quite believe in himself enough to 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 do that but he did in footballing terms and um and i think it's a balance between all these types you know i i needed glenn I, I knew that we were a better team the more Glenn Otto had the ball. Yeah, of course. So my job was to get him the ball. Yeah. And some would say, well, was that to keep his interest in the game? Well, in a way, yes. But I wanted the ball at Glenn's feet. And therefore, that was a leader of the way that we performed. Well, you 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 just on you just touched on something that which is so simple. Is um, I used to have a problem with Dave Sexton, uh, and he used to t say to me, "Why do you keep passing it to Oscar? Why do why don't you get it out wide?" And I'd say, "Well, I was brought up knowing that the, the more your best players have got the ball, the more chance you've got of winning." Exactly. And exactly what you're saying is, the more exactly. Glenn's got it, the more the other team don't like it. <sighs> You no, know. they start to go, oh, hold on a minute. Don't even, give the, it to him. Yeah. even the crowd go, whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you, you know, like when you watch football and I used to support or go and watch QPR, when the other team had the ball, you almost stopped breathing. Well, yeah. Glenn Oddle's got the ball. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh, so that, that's what an opponent can do to you. And, and um, I, people talk about me being loyal, uh, Alan. Do you know what? I had no reason to leave.